Okay, the last transducer we're gonna connect up to the data taker here, uh, this is the uh, next video, um, is the, I'm gonna connect a, um, a current loop. Now, I'm gonna connect a transducer, which is a, uh, this is a 10 bar transducer. So, now I need, I need to power this. Now it's fortunate that this will operate from as low as nine volts up to 32 volts. So I, I can operate this off 12 volts. Now I've got a 12 volt supply on the data taker here. Here it is here. Now I've wired that as the voltage in. I'm gonna connect all this up to channel five. And again, I've got a 100 ohm resistor. I've got voltage coming out of here. It goes around, loops around through the transducer. And here's the pump. So I'll just come around um, and I'll now I'll set this thing up. So let's have a look. Okay, what I need to do, I need to add a current loop. Now, in this case, again, I could use either loop, so it's zero to 100% or current. Now I'm gonna use just sake of argument current. Now, we've wired it up again like this. Now the problem is, okay, Okay, and we've wired it to channel five. Now, we need to come down to advanced here, which I scroll down. Scaling, manage scaling. Now, we're gonna set up a span and I'm gonna add new scaling at span one, we're gonna call it. And the measured will be from four to 20. And the physical is going from zero to 10. Okay, update that. And the units actually displayed, hang on, we're gonna now select that scaling, which is span one. And we come back up here and the displayed units are going to be bar. Now we've configured this, this, this is okay. So I'm gonna create this channel but it isn't gonna work yet because we haven't turned on this 12 volt supply. Now in order to do that, we can actually just, I'll just show you turning it on. Now, if I, that's there, the measurements coming back, you can see um, on the logger, but if I, I'll just halt the logger for a minute. Now, if I type in, I think it's power 12, equals one, oops, power, maybe it's power 12V equals to one. Now I need to remember this, yes, that's it. Now what that has done, if we grab our little multimeter here, we can see that we've between the, this ground here and this 12 volt supply here, there we have it. We've turned the supply on, we've got um, 12 volts. Now, in order to for the logger to, um, now in order for us to, to this, this little command here, we need to in, put that in the program because if we reset the logger, etc. now we've done this manually. So this power 12V equals one need to be loaded in the program. So I need to put that in an on activation. Now, what we need to do is when we're on activation, we can come down here and we can put a manual channel in. So in other words, it's not, that command is not going to be, it's gonna be power 12V equals, or tw equals one. Now, where I found out about that, oops, hang on, it's 12V. Now, if you get something wrong here, you get a syntax error, et cetera, when you're, you need to test it using this little button up here to make sure you've got the command right. If you check the manual, there's a fantastic manual on this and there are a lot of commands to do all sorts of strange stuff. And some things aren't in depth and um, you need to do them, uh, you'll need to, um, you know, sort of do, put them in as a straight command here. Anyway, we create this channel. So that's an on activation. And there it is there, it's a manual channel and here is the rest of our measurements. Now, again, I had current there, I might change its name, so it's um, press. 
pressure, as for pressure. Press one. Okay, I just need to point out with some log, uh, with some transducers, it can be a bit tricky. The ha the current arrangement is such that the the when the, the uh, logger is awake, the transducer will be powered. When the logger sleeps, it will not be powered. Now, if we want to have our logger, um, if we want to sorry, if we want to have our transducer powered continuously, what we've got to do is come to this settings area, come over to the logger, and we select power, and we scroll down, and we see that there's this channel expansion modules. Now this is power CEM using 12 volt output. Now only when taking a reading, this is the default. We need to change that default to always. So that will continuously power the transducer. This is very much a function of a, the, the particular transducer you're using. Sometimes you can turn them on and off. Sometimes they need to be permanently powered. You have to experiment a little. Save that. Now I apply to the logger again. Now it warns me this program's inside there. Now I can, instead of looking at the logger, upload it successfully. Good, now I'll click on here and we can see if you like when all these, there we are, pressure 2.9 bar and I will pump up, there it is, 3.6, 5.1, etc. So we can monitor the values here if you need to.